Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, I'm in my garage and today we're gonna be working on my 2JZ S13. If you guys are new to the channel, this is my drift car S13 with a uh, 2JZ and a CD09. And it's not the prettiest. It's been through a lot of the season. So it's pretty dirty, but um, makes around somewhere 500 horsepower, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. And to be honest, it has given me a lot of issues this season um just little small stuff of you know things that happen with a new build and it's just been delaying me of drifting this whole season but uh finally towards the end of the season we were able to drift uh, a couple of times and the car should did good but we have a major major issue right now that's going on with the motor and that is crank pressure well we think it's crank pressure we don't know yet and that's why i'm making this video right now so the car um, has an issue where it's blowing out the front main seal uh, it's actually not blowing it out, but um, it, somehow the, the front brain seal starts leaking. If you guys haven't watched my previous video, you guys can go back. And I think midway through the video, you can see that um, I took the whole front end of the motor off, took everything off to do the front main seal at the track. And uh, you can see what I'm talking about. So the seal actually doesn't pop off, but it actually um, it just starts pissing oil. So we think it's either a crankcase pressure or it's a oil pump issue so for us to roll this crankcase pressure issue so here we have a phr crankcase pressure adapter so this adapter lets you put in a sensor on the crankcase to see crankcase pressure <laughs> literally what uh the, the adapter says so um on this adapter it goes on the upper oil pan which is on this side and i'm gonna show you guys in a second so i'll put you guys in here you can see this little uh, sensor right here so on the factories uh, IS 300s and SC 300 that measures the oil level but a PHR makes this adapter that it makes that sensor that you're able to remove that uh, OEM sensor put this in place and you can add adapters to it so right now here I have uh, you can either adapt a crankcase pressure you can make this a vent so to have more uh, crankcase pressure escape the engine. You can vent into a catch can from the bottom, or you can add, like I said, a uh, pressure sensor on one of its of the sides. So I went ahead, bought this, and I have a spare sensor that I had since I built the motor. Uh, this is a brand new sensor that's gonna go in place. When I had it yesterday, I bought um, some uh, harness from good old Jeff Bezos. Hey, a lot of people hate on Amazon, but I don't know why. I love Amazon. Like. All, I love the stuff that I use, you know, for fittings or hoses or little stuff like this. Like this little harness, you're not able to get anywhere uh, this locally. Uh, so there's three uh, wires inside of this that you can use for sensors. And I needed that ASAP. I ordered this yesterday. It came in today morning. So freaky fast delivery, cheap, and it works for what we need to do right now. So same thing with the sensor. So there's a couple uh, performance stores near me but no one has like a dash 12 an orb fitting so this is an orb adapter so here uh you cannot use a normal oh you can actually use a normal um an fitting but it will not seal so you have to buy an orb fitting which means that you need an o-ring as you can see there's an o-ring here and it makes a seal uh connect for now i'm gonna go ahead and block this off because i want to see how much crankcase pressure it is so i'm gonna go ahead block this off block one of the sides off and only use one of the sides for the fitting uh, for the uh, sensor right here and the rest will be blocked off so i'm gonna go ahead and put this uh, adapter on and this is gonna tell me either if i have to pull the motor well actually i guess i'm gonna have to pull the motor out no matter what but this watch will tell me if i have to take the whole motor apart this win uh this winter or just do a front uh the oil pump so uh that's why i want to have the data before i start taking things apart uh kyle who built the motor uh he hit me up and told me that there's issues with the oil pumps recently that he has seen other people have issues so he thinks it could be an oil pump but if he told me if it's not the oil pump and if I do see a lot of crank pressure, uh, he'll go ahead and take the motor apart and redo everything for me. So that will be nice. Uh, I did not want to pull the motor out, but um, I do not like how I did all the wiring stuff. So you can see there's a lot of mess of wires everywhere on the engine bay. Um, so I want to go ahead and clean all that up this winter since the car is going to be sitting. So I guess I have to pull the motor out no matter what. I mean, this car does have a nice wiring specialty harness, but... Um, my fans are separate and that's kind of ugly i have a mess over here i want to redo some catch can stuff i want to redo some oil uh, some coolant overflow stuff and i uh, just clean the engine bay because the engine bay is super disgusting just from one season and i also have to change my clutch because the last 
event i cooked my clutch uh, it might still be fine i think i just overheated it but i'm already pulling the mortar and i cannot remove the the clutch without taking the mortar apart or dropping the mortar down a little bit to remove the trends so i'm just gonna have the whole even though it's really expensive i'm just gonna have the whole clutch redone this winter uh just because it's already gonna be out it's not worth putting it in and having to take it out mid uh mid season all right so it'll be a little hard for you guys to see but um i'm just gonna take it off real quick it's only four bolts four ten ten mils and this thing should come right off then after that i should be able to put the new one back in so let me just go ahead take that off real quick and i'll be right back all right 10 seconds later i got the oem oil level sensor off if anyone needs to let me know you can have it for free because i do not need it no more well i never needed this since i don't have a oem car or is 300 or whatever so if anyone wants this let me know before i throw it away or it's gonna go straight in the garbage but um put that to the side gonna go ahead uh see which port i would like to use if the top one or the bottom one because i'll probably use that 90 degree uh little i mean that 45 because it will make it way easier i believe if not i can go ahead and just not even use that well, actually yeah i don't need to use it so i probably i might not even use it let's see how uh, let's see how this fits in there and then i'll go from there all right so here we have adapter and then put this in there should be good so maybe for next season i'll take this off and i'll run it to a catch can but since I want to see what the car is doing right now, I'm going to block it off and leave it blocked off for now. Go ahead, tighten this thing down. See if I have... Ooh, too small. And of course, the one that goes here, I don't think I have it. Let's see if I have it in my drawer. Oh, there it goes. Take this thing off. Get it nice and tight. That should be good right there. Should be good. A little sensor off. And I do have to wire this. Um, I had the pins for it. I'm not sure where they went. Hopefully I can find them because uh, it was in the little package. And now uh, I'm going to try with all that, uh, the 45 and go from there. So I'm not going to get it tight because I want to see how it fits. Then mock this up. And if it's not how I want it, go ahead and run this 45, but it also has this little uh, block off that will go on one of the sides, but I'll wait on that. All right, so it actually fits perfect without that 45, so I get it all done up at the top block off, the block off on the side, sensor is in, and she's ready to go in. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, put it in the place. Gonna go ahead and bolt it down real quick and then start doing the wiring which i'm not a big fan of wiring <laughs> i mean it's only three wires it should be pretty simple but we'll see how it goes all right it's all the way in as you can see it fits pretty well so i'm gonna go ahead and make the harness and that should come up all the way through the back into the car just follow the oem harness and it should work pretty good all right, so I forgot that I have bought a couple of spare connectors. Uh, like when I built the motor at first and I put all the sensors. So I have three spare of these. So technically I didn't have to buy this, but I might need it to make it all the way into the car. Uh, Cause right now, as you can see, it's all the way here. So I might not be long enough, but if, if I need more, I got more right here. So I was able to plug it in and everything looks pretty good. As you can see in there, or I know. So you can see in there, it looks pretty good. It's all plugged in. So now, time to go inside of the car, find the wires that I need to uh, hook it up to and start doing the wiring for it. All right guys, so I went ahead and busted out the prints for the um, the ECU of the harness. When I you know bought the harness, they sent you uh, the prints. So luckily here it tells you everything you need to know. I went ahead and asked my boy Tony because I wanted to make sure he's really good with wiring. Uh, but it's pretty simple uh, You have this spare harness that luckily I saved and I put in my toolbox and I found it So this harness goes into this plug right here uh, This little plug Let's see if you guys can see that that plug right there and that this is how you get the signal from the sensor So you got analog in uh, one of these pins right here, which will be the pink analog in 
So that's coming from the sensor. And then this blue one right here, we have five volts. Five volts going to the sensor and we have sensor ground. So these two are gonna go to the ground and power and then the pink one going to the uh, receiving the information from the sensor i'm gonna go ahead uh put this in real quick and i'll be back all right guys so i feel really freaking stupid so i've been here probably for like an hour i think since the last clip I'm trying to figure it out i'm messing with all the settings in the computer I'm messing with all the wires here i'm like oh nothing is matching everything is all wrong like what the hell is going on and I mean, keep in mind this is very 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 simple um three wires you got power ground and signal so i'm like dude like i, I got him in right like what the hell is going on so the whole time that this was not working like this wasn't a reading at all was because i'm using this clips and i did not peel this back as you can see i only peeled them um i only left them how it was for factory Let's see if this focuses but it's hard to tell but you can see right at the end at the Right at the start of the wire, I wish it focused. Let me turn this light off. So it doesn't really want to focus, but right at the start of the wire, right here, it's pinched. And that's where the connector was pinching. So once I put this all the way in, since the cable wasn't peeled back all the way, um, it wasn't making connection. So I fixed it, and now the sensor is reading. So I'm an idiot. I literally spent an hour messing with all this, doing continuity tests from the ECU to the wires right here all for nothing just because i wanted to use this <laughs> this uh this little clips and they work great like they're really nice but you have to make sure you peel back the wires enough i even passed another another cable so this is another one that i just passed through because i was like there's no way this is not working so i passed this one and i peeled it back and it works so let me go ahead and clean all this up and then i'll probably take the car out for a drive to make sure that everything works it's actually dark outside so i'll probably wait till tomorrow but yeah, so I went ahead, I, I connected the, um, the harness to the fuel pressure uh, sensor just to make sure it actually works. Make sure I calibrate it correctly. But as soon as I hit the key, you can see we're getting fuel pressure. Even though this is crank pressure, this is fuel pressure right now. So I'm gonna go ahead, dis uh, disconnect it from the fuel pressure, put it down to the crankcase, and then turn the car on and see what's getting. Right, so I'm gonna go for a ride. Um, I called my buddy Fernando to see if he knew how to add parameters to the dash. But um, I don't think you can. We ha I have the BTI dash, and I don't think you can add more parameters than what it comes with, because I wanted to add the crankcase pressure on my dash, just so I didn't have to look at my computer. But since he's coming with, he can look at it. Um, and then I gotta go get gas real quick, go for a drive, you know, do a couple of pulls, maybe see if I can find some um, some back roads and uh, do a couple of donuts just to see if I get more crank pressure. But uh, yeah, so he'll be here in a couple of minutes. He only lives like two minutes away. So he'll be here soon. But um, I got the crank, uh, crankcase pressure sensor in. The wiring is good. Everything should be working fine. So uh, we should be good. All right, guys, we're going for a ride right now. I'm just going to stop at the gas station real quick before I go any pool. Just because I'm not sure how much gas is in the car. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put five gallons. Since I'm not going to be driving the car much, it's going to be sitting for winter. So put five gallons and then go for a little drive. with the car is the oil pump and not the uh and not the uh and not the crank uh crankcase pressure all right guys we're literally getting nothing at all on our crank crankcase pressure so maybe it's just the oil pump it's not the crankcase
so I'm at a little, I'm at a, I'm at this like old, like circle part of the street, no names. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead, uh, do a couple donuts here. I wanna try hit third because I feel like every time I wanna drive in third is where the car uh, had issues with the oil, uh, like the oil seal coming off. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to hit third. I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. But I'm gonna do fir uh, first second and then hopefully hit third. So as you can see from the last clip, the car actually runs really good, and there we did not we did not see any crank pressure um, at all, even when we were beating on it, even doing those uh, third gear donuts, which they were really painful because I want to I didn't want to do it, but I wanted to just create more uh, pressure and see if anything else comes off on the data log, but we didn't see nothing at all. Everything looked good, so everything is leaning more towards the oil pump. So I'm guessing the oil pump it's not centered. Um, I spoke to Kyle, the guy who built the motor. And he said that he has seen some other issues with uh, similar similar issues with the same oil pump, OEM oil pump. So we're going to go ahead, uh, take off the motor, drop it off to him. He's going to inspect it and see what's going on with that. Um, I have to pull the motor out no matter what to do the clutch because last event I went to, uh, the clutch was slipping pretty bad because uh, I was running all day nonstop and overheated the clutch. And I went out for, my, for the last lap and the clutch slipped pretty bad. So I'm just going to pull it off. And since it's already at the end of the season, I'm just gonna get a new one. And uh, I think we can rebuild those uh, Clutch Masters Clutch. So I'll probably go ahead and get it rebuilt and then go from there because I don't want to go ahead and put that nasty clutch back in it and then have more issues next season. And it sucks to pull the trends out of this car. Uh, either you have to drop the motor or take the motor out and it's just super annoying. So I'm just gonna do it all at once and not have to worry about it all season. It was a little short video, but I just wanted to document all the issues I've been having and trying to figure them out just in case anyone else out there have the same issues so we're gonna go ahead take this motor out i'll be recording that pretty soon and i'll keep you guys updated in case anyone else has similar issues and then go from there thank you guys for watching if you guys want to watch more make sure to click that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one